John here guys and today we're talking about ND filters for the DJI FPV drone. Look at this tiny little ND filter. I could actually use two of the four that it comes with and make myself a tiny little pair of sunglasses. Look kind of like an FPV version of Morpheus from the Matrix. <laughs> You've been flying your DJI drone on a couple of sunny days, but notice that the exposure or shutter speed isn't exactly what you want it to be. What does that mean? Well, it means that you might need a set of these ND filters. This is a four pack of them by Freewell. It has an ND4, ND8, ND16, and 30. It just fits onto the lens just like that. And you don't want to push too hard because the gimbal is right there, but you want to make sure that it is nice and secure. So kind of give it one of these, make sure it's all the way on there. Now I have heard if you're doing some really ripping freestyle, you really may want to make sure this is going to stay on, but it feels totally fine like me. I'm not going to be flying this 360 degrees. Um, it also comes with a little microfiber cloth so that you can keep your lens totally clean all the time. Um, one note is that you cannot put the lens gimbal cover on there with this attached, which is totally fine. After you're done flying, you'll want to just take it off, put it back in the case, and keep this with you in your drone bag. Let's go for a flight now. So ND filters are basically sunglasses for your camera. Now, why is that crucial? Well, that's because... Um, as you are getting in brighter and brighter um, areas, these cameras that are on drones are not always fully manual controllable. So what the system will do in order to give you the most properly exposed image is it will lower or raise the shutter speed on the camera. Now that's not always a big deal if you're standing still, but when you're in motion and all of a sudden the shutter speed goes higher or lower it can make that motion look jarring it can make it look blurry it can introduce jello now i know the old saying when we were growing up was there always is room for jello but not when it comes to your camera footage guys ever so what you can do is put on these sunglasses on there that reduces the brightness and so that makes your camera's sensor not have to manipulate the shutter speed because it's already properly exposing it. If it's too bright, the camera sensor is going to do that on its own. But if you put these sunglasses on it, it lowers the exposure manually, letting it have a more acceptable shutter speed that gets rid of the jello. So these are really great. There's four because it's four different levels, four being the least amount of sunglass shade and 32 being the greatest so i really think this is a nice option it comes in a little case that you can carry them all and then when you go out to fly um, you just put on the one that you need if it's super super bright at noontime you're going to want to go with the 32 if it's just a little bit bright outside you're going to want to go in the four and you can play with all the ones to get uh, a good feel for which strength you're going to need based on the lighting that's out there now again like i said the gimbal guard of the drone does not fit on when one of these is on but i don't think that's a big deal anyway because it has its own case for these and you're always going to want to choose one of the four anyway based on the lighting conditions of the day so really nice job on this free will it's a pretty premium shape i have heard that some people if they're doing like acro freestyle like loop de loop de loop things um losing one or two of those but i tried to do some jarring moves and i couldn't get it to fall off so just make sure that you have it properly secured and also make sure when you're pushing it on because that is your gimbal don't just shove it you know, push it on carefully. Take care of that gimbal. Now, one of the nice things on or your everyday or your normal cameras that are not on drones, having an ND filter also offers you a bit of lens protection if anything should ever impact that. So in addition to it being sunglasses, it's actually a little bit of protection if you ever did have an impact. Now, the gimbal's not gonna be able to take a lot of abuse itself. So, you know. It does offer you a little bit of lens protection, but you know, let's not get too carried away. 
Now, the other thing that I have noticed was I did try to do a gimbal calibration with this thing on. It wouldn't work. So what I did was took it off, did the gimbal calibration. It worked totally fine. Put it back on. It's not something that you would ever have to do frequently, but I just wanted to test to see if it was possible or not. I couldn't get it to work. So I just took it off, did the gimbal calibration, put it right back on, took my flight. Everything looked great. I did like how it brought the brightness down just a little bit. And so how the overall exposure looks to you at the end, you can decide. Um, these are both straight out of the camera. So if you're going to do something like this, you're also gonna to wanna to do a little bit of grading in order to get that image just the way you want it. This is like a manual feature that you would introduce. It is a camera modifier, just like in my studio here that I'm shooting, I have several modifiers. I have lights, I have umbrellas to diffuse that light. This is a camera modifier to get it to do something specific to change the footage. And in this case, combats that jello what do you think in the comments guys are you flying dji fpv drones um have you added accessories have you added some of the landing gear battery protectors um what other types of content would you like to see on that drone or do you just want me to get straight back to the freestyle and acro stuff i still think this is one of the best drones on the market for getting people up in the air but once you do get used to it once you have flown it um you're probably going to want to move either to a more advanced camera drone or to an acro freestyle drone like we usually feature on the channel here.